My, on a boat here in Kegworth in Derbyshire. And I thought we'd start off today, because yesterday I went through some ice, start off today looking to see if there's any damage to the to the paintwork. So let's see what we can see. I mean, there's not much you can see from here, is there? I think we got away with it. <laughs> there's uh, a few scrapes, but then there always is with my boat, because it's, you know, I, t I take it places. It goes places. But, I think we have scraped a bit of paint off. Luckily, look at this mud, this mud on the on the ice on the side here. It's ridiculous. Um, I had some uh, donations, so I've got massive shout-outs first to these people. Morning, you're right. <laughs> um, and so these people have helped me um, donate a bit of money to, yeah, obviously when I get the boat repainted. <laughs> so shout out to Paul Lally, A.K. May, Barry Clark. Michael Agar, Barbara Durham in Mexico, and Steve Wakefield. So thank you all very much. And let's get cranking. Let's do it. Oh, there's new Patreon members as well. Mark, Cope, and Greg, aka Carrier Bag. You might see him come up in the comments somewhere. And we've got Al Wobbly Boater, who is, I think, jumping in on the um, moderation for the chat as well, which is great. Really appreciate everyone's help. All I've got to do now is untie the ropes and start the engine. I've done my checks. We've checked the paint job. <laughs> it's very cold today, very icy, a bit dangerous really. It dawned on me yesterday. I should probably be wearing one of these, a uh, life jacket, because I'm not just moving the boat, I'm uh, filming as well, moving cameras around and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Just gonna go about my business as I normally do. It's just another day, another Sunday for me. Oh, right. But yeah, very slippery on the sides here. There's a lock ahead of us, but it's a flood lock. So just gotta go through it, that's all we have to do. Right, that's the front. Just doing the stern rope now. There's a pub here um, called the Anchor Inn. I didn't, I walked past it to get some food from the shop, but I didn't go in. Because I'd been good at the moment, working, aren't I? So this morning I was, I've been working, filming Canal Book Diaries for BBC. Just some interior, interior shots. And now we're doing YouTube live stream. Another world first. <laughs> I don't know if it is. Surely got to be for the stretch of the river saw we're about to go on. Anyway, come on. But I'm loving showing you exactly what happens because it's not as exciting as you think. <laughs> or maybe it is, maybe it's more exciting. Like yesterday we had a, a boat come through. Um, icebreaker. <laughs> right. That's that end pushed out. The back end will stay close enough to the side for me to just literally walk onto it, so there's no jumping involved. I'm going to start the engine whilst we're floating away. How reckless of me, but you have to understand I've been doing this for a long time, almost, almost eight years now, so uh, I'm used to, used to it. Oh, unlike my engine, which is not, not very warm. going now. Right, let's crank it. Good afternoon, Wendy. 
Andy and everyone that's watching. Welcome to another day in my life. <laughs> Coming through. Um, coming through the lock here. Uh, I'm just going to slow down a bit. Always feels a bit naughty going through um, any kind of lock where you've just got one gate open. Because that happens sometimes. But any time I've been in the company of someone from the Canal River Trust, they've just said, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> so they don't mind. But yeah, we've slowed right down now because there's a flow in the river. So look at that. I'm going to tick over and come to a halt. So I'm going to crank it a little bit. Ask you a question about fuel boats then, I've no idea. I didn't realise they were going to be banned. Is that fact or is that something else? <laughs> Where did you get your information from? Facebook or uh, the sun? No, I don't know. As I'm going, coming out of this lot, this flood lot, so this is literally only usually shut, I think, when the river is in flood to protect the stretch we've just been on. I batter my way through. <laughs> oh dear. Um, on the left, there's a parking space, and last night someone drove all the way over from Derbyshire. Uh, well, they're in Derbyshire right now. <laughs> someone drove all the way over from a nearby town after seeing after seeing the um, live stream, seeing me break my barge pole. And he brought me a new one, look at that. So at shout out, Andy Payton from Breeston in Derbyshire. That is my new barge pole right there. And that's the power of my lovely subscribers. You're all wonderful, thank you very much. Especially Andy, cheers me. <laughs> Top bloke. Got the old one next to it, that's gonna be firewood soon. <laughs> so there's a pub on the right, if you follow this bridge walk along the road just a few hundred yards really and there's a pub but I'm uh, working at the moment I'm off the pubs I'm off pubs I'm off drinking being good there's always time for a pint but it's not at the moment <laughs> too much to do The river levels on the saw at the moment, really good. There's a monitoring station at Kegworth, where we are right now, in Derbyshire, East Midlands, and um, you can check exactly. You can even check a foot, there's a forecast for it as well, but it's never usually that accurate. But yeah, here we are, we're out the river saw. The levels are good, flow's fine. Just cranking it enjoying those colours that you only get in winter, the sort of pastel-y sky colours, I love it, absolutely love it. And it is cold, but uh, I've got my gloves on, I've got my leather gloves on, my leather murdering gloves. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I? that's terrible humour. It's still a bit icy on the sides, you can see. But yeah, we've got a lock. We have a lot to do today, maybe even two, um, but yeah, one is called, or well, it was called Deep Lock, so we'll be going through a lock whereby I have to tie on to a slider, which is a, basically a vertical rail, as opposed to normally having to loop a rope around the uh, bollards or rings. Uh, 
time here is, according to my little Casio watch, sponsored by Casio, uh, 12, uh, about quarter to, or yeah, 12.42 I've got on my, on my watch. And like Cranky Crew member Tony says, it's in the afternoon here. Oh, I do wonder what you're all doing, you know, people are watching this, you and everyone else. Right now, you probably just sat in the warm, the lovely cup of tea. Wish I was. <laughs> this is a vintage Casio, guys. Well, it's, it's new, newish. But yeah, I think I prefer the other, the other one I had, which was a silver coloured one. Cherry Coke and Simpsons. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Alan's going to the pub soon for the football. I'm going to bloody miss it, aren't I? I haven't even checked, I've been so busy, I haven't even checked to see what time Man U are playing today. Outrageous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you bugger, all of you. <laughs> Fantastic. It's great to hear what you're all doing, because I can picture the contrast, the gap in between what I'm doing here. <laughs> It'd be a bit odd though if you were doing the same thing I'm doing and watching it on YouTube at the same time. Manu at 4.30, yes, I'll be able to get to see that. Take on the mighty Arsenal. Well, they are at the moment. Anyway, football, that was yesterday's chat for our 90 minute live stream. I'm hoping today's live stream will be a similar time. Only because it, the destination for us is we want to get to, get through the next lock and then it's going to be about three or four miles, I think, for, for the next one. That's just my goal for today. Whether or not I end the live stream before I get there or not, I don't know. It depends, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. Got a few boaters watching, like Beck there. And uh, obviously, like Al and Greg, loads of people watching on boats, which is amazing because that's what blows my mind the most, that, actually, that boaters actually watch what I do. <laughs> Helps, you know, you've got to keep me in line, haven't you? Make sure I don't do anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, where we're headed is going to be, uh, so that my destination today will, will be a cut off the river. So we're on the river right now, we're facing, we're going upstream. Where um, the next bit I get to, that is going to be a cut which is probably full of ice but I've had a few boats go past this morning so yeah all good I think don't know until you get there though, do you <laughs> oh those hot stoves eh coffee yeah I've had a couple of cups of coffee today oh Christ I almost spilt that one but there we are that's the remains of the one I'm on and I think it's gone a little bit cold now yeah, it has. Never mind. Cold brew. Is that what they call it? Cold brew coffee? <laughs> I don't know. It's all the rage. All the rage now. The camera that I'm using, sorry, uh, this is a iPhone 14 Pro Max. I think the description, I haven't edited it yet. I need to change the... Probably says iPhone 13. That was the last one I had. But yeah. Ah, oh, mate Luke's just popped up there saying his daughter Astrid saying she loves me. Oh, I love you too, Astrid. <laughs> Is it expensive to run the boat? I don't know, it depends what you do with it, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, what your tastes are, what your level of comfort requires. I don't mind wearing a woolly hat in bed, so uh, <laughs> don't go through that, bit, that much coal, I guess. Uh, and obviously my engine is a bit more economical. It's probably about 400 quid diesel a year I spend. A 400 pound a year on diesel probably 
maybe more nowadays. Last time I checked, it was about that. Here we go. Right, so off to the right is where the weir is going to be on the river. And there's a danger sign that I'm headed directly for. So I'm going to slow down and uh, pull in on the left so I can go up the uh, lock. <laughs> If you're wondering why I chuckle to myself, I'm not laughing at my own jokes, I'm laughing at the comments that are coming up. <laughs> Very entertaining. Anyway, at the minute I'm not going to be able to see your comments at all. Um, I'm going to leave you on the boat, watching out watching out for the multi last while I go ahead and open the lock. You'll be able to hear me, but uh, you won't be able to see me much. Right, so the, so the danger sign says danger risk of sill hang ups in the lock. Risk of sill hang ups in the lock. Oh, you can't see it, I'm sure, but Kingfisher just flew off the sign itself. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I'll leave you here, and uh, if you see it again, let me know. Apologies for the shaky camera. Actually, no, I'm going to take the camera off the, the roof in a sec. Just tie up first. And I'm being extra careful today because I've got my... Oh, bloody hell. My life jacket on. Because it is not only icy, it's also muddy. And I'm also trying to do a live video, so... <laughs> I don't want to fall in. Do not want to fall in. But concentrate on you do what you do want, not what you not what you don't want is what I've always been told. Not always been told that, but recently been told that. Be positive, guys. You know. <laughs> Bit further forward. Actually, that'll do. It's fine. I'm going to do a little canalman's hitch down here. Just uh, basically a half hitch, but it goes underneath the rope. This this line, and back onto the bollard. Anyway, I'm leaving the boat to you just to look after. Uh, but I'll uh, just need to get my windlass. Just leave you. I don't know, I don't like leaving you off the boat. I want to put you on the boat, really, don't I? Either that will bring you with me. Just do it like that, there we go. Is that cool? That'll do, won't it? Um, right. Last thing, I'm just making sure the rope's tied on properly. The last thing I want to do is have to sprint down this icy path. Yeah, we're all good. It's just uh, off to a weird angle. So the back end of the boat, <laughs> the stern, is like almost out in the middle of the, the river. <laughs> but that's what the, the flow of the water wants it to do, I guess. Can't argue with that. Let's see if I can open this lock. It looks like it's full. You can tell that because of all the... It also looks like it's leaking. Bloody hell. There's a lot of water coming through here. So this is Kegworth New Lock, which used to be known as Kegworth Deep Lock, I think. But it's not the deepest one I've been through. Bear with, it's got to shut the top gates. They've been left open. And unless that's how it's supposed to be, you should always be shut. Oh, I can see a little bit of ice ahead of us, but mostly weeds. <laughs> Right. 
So this lock obviously allows us to go up. Up in the world, quite literally. But it also, it doesn't, it, you know, it um, brings us up a level, but it doesn't mean we're on a canal again. Just for a little bit, and there's, we're off the river, and then the river rejoins. all down. So I'm just making sure the paddles and the gates are shut at the top end of the lock. It's full of water at the moment, full of icy cold water. Sorry, it's a bit of a strain to get that lock shut. It's a lot of weed. You know, reeds that have just floated in and jammed between the <coughs> gates. Yeah, there's a bit. Well, it's, um, there's a lot of weed here and reeds um, jamming in between the gates. Ideally, I don't want them there. So I'm wondering if they'll either come in or go out again. Oh, there's quite a flow. It's difficult to push open these gates. There we go. That'll do, I think. There we go. That's a better... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't really want that in here, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> Got to live with nature, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. And then it rejoins the river or, you know, well, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, it's got to plough through. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. Some people chatting. Stop to chat about how much weed there is in the canal ahead of us. Up here, there is a lot of it. I don't fancy going down my weed hatch today. <laughs> but I, d I think it's going to be inevitable. But this is it, every day on the canal is different. Sometimes it's a real struggle. Sometimes it's just easy. And uh, you can sit there with a beer in your hand. A G and T. Uh, no, you can't. You can't, you can't do you want. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is some days are... Uh, Good, some days are bad. Logic's like every other thing that you do in your life. <laughs> but I'm being positive, this is a good day. This is a, this is a glorious day. Um, nothing's gonna go wrong. It's gonna be absolutely fine. Ah. See, there's a goal there. Don't pull on my boat, please. No, don't think, don't even think about it. What are you doing? I think it's actually uh, this is the bird here is circling around, hoping to catch a little fish that might pop out through the the gates that I've opened. The paddles. This gate has two paddles, 
that allows me to let water out of the lock. And then there's two sets that you'll see on the other side. Oh. I've done the back in the other day and it's uh, getting better now, but it's a bit of a strain, especially in winter, you sort of, everything's frozen up, isn't it? <laughs> You've got to be careful. Easy to pull a muscle or something. That's all right. Both paddles are up, water's gushing out. And the bird, the girl is still hoping for a little treat. Let's see if it gets one. That's gone now. <laughs> but commentating on nature is just too unreliable, isn't it? You can't, you can't predict what it's going to do unless you're an expert. That's a Chris Packham, you know. Very difficult. But it's back. Doing some more flybys. <laughs> and then we've got some swans coming into the picture as well. Woo! <laughs> that great sound, don't they? So I'm just sat here waiting for this lock to empty, by the way. I'm having, a, I'm having to sit down, all right? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone, world. <laughs> I see a mark here for the river level. It's in the green, so don't worry. If you're my insurance company watching, we're good. So on a river navigation, there is a flow going, going through, but the bit where we're just going up, up here so we can get up, up to the next level, because this obviously, like most rivers, this one flows downhill, downstream. So obviously locks are a way of getting up. It's elementary, my dear Watson. I'm bored now. <laughs> you can't be bored. You can never be bored on the canal. There's always something to do. Right, so what I want to do is cross over that side first, open that gate, and then I can walk around and open this one, and then I'm already on the way back to the boat. That's the most logical route. <laughs> Come on! There we go. Oh, these are stiff. <laughs> oh, crikey. Oh, you can hear it going. Uh. Blimey. All right, I'm going to open both gates this time, I think. Yeah. Wow. Close this paddle first. It saves me time. The noise you can hear is the water from the top gates of the lock we're about to go into.
this is another thing to be careful of, opening locks where it's icy. It can be slippery enough as it is. Take it slow, you'll be right. There's a nearby airport, so there's an airplane, passenger plane going past. On the way to Lanzarote, probably. Or uh, Magaluf. Or uh, maybe that you can't fly direct to Magaluf, can you? Um, I don't know. Oh, I'd love to go to the beach. I would actually love to go to Mallorca again. I went there once, it was brilliant. Just beer in one hand, book in the other, arse on the sand, on a towel, with some trunks on. Bliss. Get in the sea, have a little dip, come out again. Fantastic. Right, back to the canals. <laughs> Concentrate, Robbie. I'm untying the centre line. Not yet, I'm going to turn you, the camera, get the camera back to the back of the boat so we can drive this thing. Oh, yes, it is big coat weather, so I'm just seeing your comments now again. Oh, it's not too bad though. Oof. But I am wearing my long johns. Oh, yeah. So uh, I've got plenty of layers on. Look at this new new barge pole. Woohoo! <laughs> right. Uh, oh yeah, we're up to 420. 420 people are watching right now. That's cause to celebrate. Spark them up. Here we go. You're on the back of the boat now. We're about to go through this lock. 420 gears. Good, that canalman's hitch. So we'll just do that over, under, and over. I'll show you another time. <laughs> you can't see from there. Sound like some kind of Street Fighter character dying in, in a computer game if you're not already familiar with the series. Streets of Rage, that was a brilliant game, Streets of Rage 2. Yeah, if you're watching this and you wanted just purely canal-based chat, I'm afraid this is the wrong channel. <laughs> I talk about all kinds of rubbish while I'm going along. But here we are, about to go into New Lock on the River Saw. And the most interesting thing about this one is that it's a little bit like the automated locks on the, the larger rivers, like the um, navigations like the Air and Calder, where you go in there and it'll be automated, you know, electronic, <coughs> oh, um, electric um, operating panels, and maybe even the lock keeper might be there. But with this, we have to do it all on our own. And you'll be able to see in a minute, not only how deep it is, but, uh, how we're going to have to tie tie up as we go up in this lock very slowly, and you'll also see. Uh, hi, Nick. Uh, you'll also see. Oh, you saw my brother. Brilliant, fantastic. My friend Nick was in Japan, and uh, my brother's just visited. I'm really glad. Okay, um, so I'm going to this lock. Look how icy the weed is. <laughs> it's insane. That's all iced up. Iced up weeds. Right, so here I am. I'm in the middle of this lock. I'm going to try... Do you know what? I'm going to turn the engine off. I don't need it. I don't need the engine on. And then we can hear everything that's going on. What I need to do now... I'm going to have to leave you on the boat, 
because you're in charge. <laughs> All right, to so look after the boat. What I'm going to do now is... Well, do you know what? I could tie up at the top there. I think I might do that because then I can have control. Another thing I could do is tie this through that, that blue uh, slider, it's called. Sliders. That was a great show. Sliders. Um, science fiction show. Uh, in the 90s. Go through that, slide, uh, round that slider, and then back onto the boat. And then it just goes up like that. Maybe I should do that. Let's try that. Let's try that. It's the best way of doing it, I think. Having not been through this lot before, though, that is the, the thing I'm always thinking. As in, I don't know the best way. I only know what's worked for me before. So nice and tight. Just tying the rope back on the, the rail. So grateful of these rails, they're brilliant. And that, yeah, we're a little bit away from the wall at the back there, but that's fine. It's loose enough but tight, so that won't go anywhere. Now, the arduous process of shutting the locks behind us. Ugh. And then, um, then I'll start opening the panels here. So this will be a bit of um, a bit of dead air now. Dead air is a crime. But not on this live stream, because we're just going to enjoy the sounds of... Uh, the water and me grunting because I've got <laughs> opening these lo closing the locks because I've got the microphone with me haven't I and I do all this Not at all icy up on here, which is great. So we're all along these concrete slabs at the top. No ice, no mud. Fantastic. So no worries, yeah. Going the wrong way. <laughs> you can work, walk on the ballot on the beams here. But there's also another bit of the side which is much safer because I worried so many people yesterday, including my mum and my dad. Although well, not so much my dad. <laughs> no, I did worry them a bit because I didn't uh, look safe. Well, today I am being safe. Set a good example and all that. Especially as I'm not only just moving a boat, I'm filming it as well. So it's, it's added risk. And I'm on my own. If it was nice and sunny or whatever and warm and stuff, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry at all. But you know what it's like when it's icy. Right, the, the gates are shut behind us. And there is hmm, quite a large gap. But we'll let in the water see how far we get. I mean there's a gap in the between the gates so there's the water's going out as well as coming in. <laughs> there's already quite a lot you can see can't you? It's leaking through these old gates which have got to be almost 200 years old haven't they? Maybe not less than 200 years old but still old. Um, what side? I'm going to try this side. Hang on. Uh, so if I open the gates, just trying to work this out, water will come out of there, but it will just drop down there. Let's give it a go, see what happens. Just take it slowly. You can 
see that, can't you? I hope. So the warning sign did say, watch out for the sill. Getting caught up on the sill. We are in the back end of the lock where the, you know, the sill is. But I don't see any danger from where I'm looking. You know, we're not that close to the sill at all. About two metres away, two, three metres. The sill is the bit underneath the. Um, it's right, right in front of the locks. It's like that. There we are. That thing there is the sill. And maybe that's what they're saying. Don't get too close to that. So it's more of a danger if I was going down to this lock. Right, I'm going to have a wee in the bushes. There's no one around. <laughs> but I'm going to need to uh, place the microphone down, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is, just, this is just my life. This is what I have to do sometimes. I can't go back on the boat because it's down there. And I've had a couple of coffees and it's just gone straight through me. Right. Microphone's tied on to me so I don't lose it. Right, be right back. Be right back. I'm right back, here we are, I'm back again. Didn't even wash my hands. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Apologies for that. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's get a bit more water in this lock. So I'm confident we've got it right. open up this one now. You ever watched um, 
my TV shows and there's too much water flooding in all that sort of stuff. That's not me. That's not me doing that. That'll be someone else. I take it very slowly because this is my home that you're sitting on top. So um, obviously I'm extra careful just to make sure it's as chilled as possible inside a lock when my boat's going up through it. Going down through the lock is much easier, isn't it? Much, much more gentle and controlled normally. But like the warning sign said for this lock, there is a sill if you go down that you can easily catch yourself on. And that's the thing that all the water is bouncing off of here. Cool. A bit more on the other side. Sun's coming out. Looking good. So if I feel like it's too much, I can just go back down again. Oh, bugger. <laughs> you know what I've just seen? There's a ground paddle just here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see what this does. This will probably send the boat completely to Lally.
So there's three ways that water's coming into this lock. One, via a chamber that's coming from the top pound, that's what we call it, the top pound. Let's go under via this paddle under the ground. Out. It's basically following where I'm walking right now. And then coming out at about here somewhere. Yeah, right down there. And then you've got two other ways. That set of paddles and that set of paddles. They both open together. And you're normally supposed to open the ground paddle first. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to have mattered in this case. Because I've just been really gentle anyway. I've not been mad with it. That's happening now. Here we go. Ah! Oh. So they're almost fully open. I think what I will do is I will get back and untie the rope. Because it's reaching the top limit, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now is untie that rope so it doesn't tip the whole boat over. Because that wouldn't be very good, would it? So if I left that there tied up, the whole thing would have gone like that. Because <laughs> it reaches the top there, that's the, the, the top of the slider. That's why if you see me, if I'm carrying a knife, it's because of that. <laughs> I've not paired it up with my murdering gloves. It's just um, knives are there when you're boating to cut ropes. That's their main purpose anyway. Uh, what do I do with my windlass? Ah, so I'm on the lock gate. <laughs> There's a little bit extra in this one, wasn't there? That's it. There we go. So all the paddles letting water into this locker open now. Which means we're almost there. And crack on with the next journey. So it's about three or four miles I've got to take on now. Whilst that's doing, what I would normally do is make sure I've got something to drink. I'll go and make myself a drink and I won't I won't do a coffee because that'll take too long. Let's get a little drink and bring it out. We've still got a little bit more to go to fill this lock up. Why is 
Why is it slow? I know why. I think. Oh, new one. Need a new thing. So I'm just chatting to myself, pouring myself a glass of water, thinking about my um, water filter. I got one for the water. I think because it's coming through really slowly. I think it's got a load of crud in it. In it. Oh, yeah, but that was live. Robbie just chatting away to himself inside the boat. Alright, I'm outside again. Tea with two sugars, yeah? I want the spoon standing up in it. Right then, here we go. Of course, I've left my windlass in the boat. <laughs> On the boat, there we go, that's easier. Whew, warmed up now. Let's see if I can get these gates open. Yeah, easily. So I'll do the other one first. If you ever seen my videos, this is when I would set up one of those ghost transition shots. So you'd see me almost go all instantly from that side, not instantly, but fade ghostly like over to this side. Because it would just be too long to include all of this <laughs> in the lock opening sequence. That's just on YouTube though, not on... That's exclusive guys. Yeah, I haven't, done a, I haven't done a video for months now. But I need the time, I need the creative headspace, I need the time to do it, I need a journey, somewhere to go. Um, but yeah, most of the time to edit it. I don't have that at the moment, so this is why I'm doing these lives. Time to start the engine. I'm just gonna take it out of the lock and tie up the other side. <clears throat> oh, thanks very much, uh, Creo. It's a very kind comment. You're all bloody kind, you lot. <laughs> Here we go. Can you see all that weed on the left hand side? Ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm just going to crank it, crank it through. Hope we don't get snagged.
Right, buddy. Right, buddy. Don't try this at home. One of the many things you shouldn't do. There's so much weed in between this lock gate and my boat, it's acting like a little buffer, <laughs> like its very own vendor. All right, that's good enough. Just a bit more. And what I am going to have to do is I am going to have to put my hand on the weed patch. That's happening. Hi, Evie. Remind me, was it um, Yakalang Shumui? That was it, wasn't it? The um, character we made last year with your daddy. Hope he's all right. And your sister as well. Right, we're almost there. Right, I, can't, I can't see your comment now, I'm just jumping off the boat. The rope in the end. But I'll let you know in a minute. When we're, when we're moving, I'll let you know when I'm back behind the. I've got a phone on my boat, you see. This is what you're lo lo looking through. And the screen of that phone is what I'm reading your comments off. Well, obviously, I can only see that when I'm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh man, I'm just, I wish you could see this, how dirty and disgusting my boat is from this side. So that's another job I've got to do, is clean it. <laughs> just muddy footprints all along, but the footprints have gone sort of up the boat as well, up the side of the boat. Because of my wellies that I was wearing yesterday. That's why I like it when it's icy and cold, because everything looks so clean and sparkly, doesn't it? I don't like the mud. Bush. Yeah, we've got a bit of paint missing here. Thanks so much again to all the people that's chipped in through my PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash crank it. Um, yeah, I got some pocket money yesterday and I'm going to put that towards getting the boat repainted when it needs it. Maybe, maybe this year, maybe next year. Depends how long I can go. Right, back to the lock to shut the gates behind me. Do that quickly. Just driven past a sign actually that says, warning, unpowered craft ahead. Please sound your horn, slow down and give way if required. So that's fun, we get to blow the horn. Um, we're not going to use my horn, we're going to, not yet anyway, we're going to get down the weed hatch unfortunately. Because <laughs> I don't want to be on the river and it's, you know, the propellers coked up with weed. Hope so. You know what I mean? Um, so yes, it's going to be cold, but I've got to do it. Right. Let's pull the boat in a bit. It's drifted out somewhat.
It's better than sitting, sitting in the pub, isn't it? And watching football with a pint. Oh, man. Yeah, here we go. Right then, so normally we see my weed hatch in the summer and it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Just gorgeous. A nice little dip. Let's see if I can uh, get the camera angle right. Hiya. Yeah. See, I'm being good. Put my life jacket on. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go crazy with this gun, guys. We're going rogue. Right, here we are. If I can just do that. No, because that's balancing my phone on the edge there. I don't really want to do that. It's the only one I've got. Right, here we go. I'll lock that door in place. There we go, you can get a lovely view of me. Oh man, I've got to do this, haven't I? I'm going to get right in there. I'm actually going to have to take my life jacket off. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Come on. <laughs> I don't actually have to get my hands in there because I've got a new gadget. Well, it's a recent thing in the summer I was given this from Glenn at, uh, where is it? Um, my memory's awful. Um, Ghoul Boat uh, Marina. So this is the first time this year I've been down here actually. It's terrible. Clear water, actually. I don't know if you could see from where you are. Can you see? Yeah, you can almost see, can't you? You can almost see. Look at all this crap everywhere. So muddy. When I do get to Loughborough, I'll have to have a good old clean up. got in here so let's get this in there and oh yeah oh dear okay yeah there is a fair bit of weed in there but I'm hoping I can just cut through it with this and even lift it out with this that's quite good isn't it I'll watch my fingers I'm just trying to make sure there's no weed it's going to jam in there and uh, cause me to lose power on the next section of the river. Because although I can make pit stops on the river, I don't like doing it. Because you're just floating backwards, aren't you? Well, in, in my case, I am. Because we're going up river. That's all good, it's clear. That's great news. It's just a bit floating in the, in the top there. Yeah, but even in winter, you can still get weed um, wrapped around your propeller, that is. I'm sure you can get other kinds of weed, but I wouldn't know anything about that. There we go. Sure, there's no gap around the outside yet. That's good. 
Round the outside, round the outside. Oh. Solid. Right. Let's crank it. Always tricky this bit, sorry, here we are. Is that better? Yeah, oh, we're, we're in the middle of the, the river, let's go. Yeah, if any other narrowboat um, channels or boating channels want to say, hello, I'm here, just put Haggers in the chat and we'll know who you are. And then people who are interested in this sort of shtick can get on it and uh, have a look. Anyway, I'm going to get my horn out. Way! Let me hold out, guys. Hang on. Oh. Now that's crap, isn't it? Well, don't worry, because I've got one of these as well. So get ready for this. Cover your ears. Because this is loud. Ready for this. <laughs> well. At least they'll hear me coming, right? Robbie coming. Uh, no, it's not good. No canoes or kayaks today. I think we can just press on. But look at this, we've got a great view now. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. But here we are, look, going. I'm going to have to lift you up here. That's the weir. That's where the river flows, round the lock. Yep, shout out to Phil of Narrowboat Journeys. There we go, that's the shout out done. But yeah, if you want to publicise your own narrowboat vlog, just type in hi guys and uh, yeah, sort you out. In the meantime, look at this dirty great passenger plane. DHL actually, it says DHL on it, so that's carrying parcels, I guess. 
Phantom. Cargo. Whoa! Cool, man. You don't see that every day. Not on the sleepy old canals and rivers, anyway. What's that, an A300, Jake? Oh, God. Was it an Airbus? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really taking the mickey out of my cousin Guy. He's a BA pilot, but he's also really into planes in general. He would have had to be. His, my uncle was director of the Air Tattoo in Fairford. Bit of a legend. Anyway, what's my godfather? Anyway, right, so we're coming up to this corner now. Easy left into hard right. No, I don't, I don't know because I haven't got a map. No map for this section. Well, I am headed towards Loughborough. I'm going to stay at Zoch tonight, I think. That's how it's pronounced, but it's spelt Z O U C H, which is more like Zooch, isn't it? But it's Zoch, I think, for the locals. I imagine similar to Ashby de la Zoch. I don't know. But we're still in Derbyshire at the moment, we're not in Leicestershire yet. Boats ahead of us that will pass by. Some amazing houses that will pass by as well, hopefully. But I'm definitely seeing a difference in the architecture of Derbyshire as opposed to Nottinghamshire. Yes, Carl, welcome to the stream. We've just come up through what was known as Deep Lock, it's now called New Lock. I had a wee in the bushes on what would have been the old block. <laughs> I think. I couldn't see much of it there. Anyway, we're now off that little cut and we are rejoining the river navigation above the weir. And it's gorgeous. We're loving it. <laughs> Great, isn't it? On, on this section. I don't, I don't know, I don't, we probably won't get to see it. I don't know, it might do. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, we won't, we won't get to see it today, but it's called the Saw Boat Club. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's funny anyway. It's not obviously spelt the same way, it's spelt S O A R, like the river we're on. Not S O R E. That's interesting, Angela. You've all, always said Zooch, have you? Or Zoosh? I mean, I don't know. Down south, isn't it? 569 people watching this stream right now. That is a, a record, I think. We've not had that many. So, thank you for watching. If I was on Twitch or something like that, doing computer games, I'd, I'd say, let's go, let's go guys, but I'm not, so can't do that, but I am very excited, thank you. I 
Oh, was it, Greg? Oh, carrier bag it was 602 earlier on. Well, that's amazing. That is the, the most I've ever had. Weekend. I mean, yeah, we're not. We're, most of us are not doing something right now, I suppose, are we? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all very much. We've got a boat coming up. A wide beam, it looks like. Or is it some sort of Dutch barge style wide beam? I don't know. John, John Rice from Daytona Beach. He has been a supporter of this channel for a long, long time. Thank you, John. <laughs> That's right, hit that, hit that light button, boat lovers. Or just my lovers. That wouldn't be too many likes. Ah, right, so we've got, is it Willow, someone say Willow Moorings or something, that's what we're going to pass now. So I'll slow down the these lot. Even though we're on a wide stretch of the river, it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't matter too much, but I will slow down. Oh, it is cold, very cold, but there's nothing better to do than just mess around with the boat, really, is there? a little bit, well, just take it back down to take over. I do wish the camera would wobble about so much. I just, I really need a solution for this. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, can we attempt one of these boaters out of their boat to uh, give us a wave, what do you reckon? <laughs> if anyone, if any of them are watching. If you're watching this stream right now, you live on a boat here, give us a wave. When we get here. Oh, 
know, Barbara, I won't be in Shardlow for a long, long time. Afraid. Well, not for a few years, I would have thought. Sounds like you guys all know each other around here. <laughs> there we go, we've got a wave. <laughs> that was lovely. I don't know if you saw that, but it's off to the right hand side. A couple there standing, waving at us. Today's destination is Zoch. It's spelt Z O U C H. And I was a little bit worried about uh, streaming for hours on end. I mean, I don't expect you to watch it all. It's just, uh, you know, will YouTube let me upload that much? Well, now I don't really care because there's people uploading all kinds of rubbish every single day. <laughs> some people are pronouncing it zooch, some people are pronouncing it zoosh, zoosh. <laughs> I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> I just think it's funny. I don't know Greg, who Rachel Harper is, but if I was waving at her, that's cool. Hopefully I was, I'm not sure. <laughs> who else have we got? Anyone else to wave to? Lovely boats here, mostly narrow boats it looks like. A few other, other types as well. Thank you. Right, on the right, where are you? Can't see you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> there we go, we've got a wave. Nice one. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and there'll be a felt as well. <laughs> awesome. Oh, there's a pub ahead of us called the Otter. That's pretty good. I don't have any time to stop there, but... Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Well, she made the effort. <laughs> no one else did. Well, there's another person behind her. Cheers. <laughs> but I don't blame people. They thought they'd stay inside today because it's getting cold. Right. Um, enjoy the footy. Enjoy that football. Beautiful game. Played by some horrible people. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> I've been told I can moor at the Ro Rose and Crown in Zoch, which is a pub. I haven't looked into it. It looks alright. <laughs> Hit that line button. Hit the line button, guys. <laughs> Or, or you can hit the like button, whatever, whatever we do. Oh, I don't know what the temperature of the water is, but it's uh, yeah, pretty cold. One degrees or something. Celsius. Oh, so the otters are ma... Oh, what's a Marston? So this pub here, 
before the next one. <laughs> Up of the week. I hope you're all supporting your local pubs of the week. Very important this time of year. And no one likes someone with perfect abs, so um, get out there and get a beer belly. It'll make the rest of us feel better. <laughs> Just crank it responsibly. Yeah, I'll be, um, I'll be going on to Leicester. I should be in Leicester um, within, within a week or so. But I can't promise anything because you just don't know what the river's going to do, do you? This river will go into flood like that whilst you're, whilst you're out on it, depending on rainfall, etc. Thanks for all the local info, and, yeah, the local info, by the way. Thanks so much. Always, always appreciate, especially I don't, I don't have a, um, a map on me, so I don't have that one in the series. I don't know why I didn't buy it recently. Good think, good think. Yeah, I'm working on TV work at the moment, Craig. Filming Malboat Diaries Series 4. This is why I'm not making any proper YouTube videos. So I'm on my way to the next filming location, which is Loughborough. Lamb stew, drinking red wine, that sounds absolutely fine. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. yeah, very sensitive river this one, I think. I'm hearing. <laughs> hey, producer stews online, keep cranking. He'll be happy that I'm making headway today. We're under, we're under pressure to get all this stuff done, you know, so that you guys can see it. Because you're so demanding, you're always on us. <laughs> when is, when's the next series coming out, Robbie? I don't know. But we're making it. We are doing it. This morning I filmed some, uh, some more bits and bobs inside, inside the boat before I did this live stream. So Stu, I have done my homework, don't worry. <laughs> so don't cut the corner on the next next corner, is that what you're saying? Someone there? Yeah. I'll just stick to the middle. I'm the straight opposite the edge, so. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, Stu. Yeah, lots of advice coming in now. It's all all welcome. Apart from the ones where you're joking, I can't tell. Whether you're joking or not, that's not helpful. Right, how much can we crank it? Let's go. There probably is a speed limit, but uh, I haven't seen what, as many signs. Yeah, no, you don't want to watch TV. That's, uh, yeah. Who watches TV anymore, eh? Okay, everyone, get with it. <laughs> right, stick to the middle. Okay. Proceed, number one. Apparently the limit is six mile per hour on the saw. Go, rabbit, go. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> go, go, go. It's one of the first rock songs I wanted to learn that. Go Danny, go, go, go. Love that. Johnny be good. I love how some of you know each other in the chat. You're chatting to each other.
you all sort of know each other, don't you? <laughs> Some of you do, anyway. It's great. <laughs> ah, right. So according to producer Stu, we're coming up to Devil's Elbow. Now I thought Devil's Elbow was where the rowing club was, but it's not. Um, it's just not. <laughs> they just called it that, I think because it looks more like an elbow. I wonder why they call it Devil's Elbow then. I mean, this bit coming up, I suppose I'll find out. Because there's a small island, right. Ah. I bet you don't want to get too close to that. This live stream could go on for hours. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. I like to go with the flow on it. Maybe if the battery runs out, that's when it'll have to end. But I've just bought a new phone. So this is an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's got a big battery. So who knows how long we'll, we'll get from it. Right, I'm just going to uh, switch the microphone. Right. This is the noise cancelling. We'll try the noise cancelling again because some people like that. So I'm just switching to the noise cancelling option on the microphone. Not as clear, not as good quality, but it cuts out all the engine noise, which might make it a bit more relaxing for you, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think producer Stu's, he knows, he, he just knows. The other sound, even though it does pick up the engine more, is better. So there we are, we're back on normal sound. And if you don't like old engines, you don't like the sound of Lister engines, you're just not going to like my channel, are you? <laughs> just like, what are you doing here? don't want to hear that lister go for it. I've actually sat on the side of the roof, I'll just turn the camera around. I'm, I'm sat to the side of the, of the camera, camera. Ugh, well that's better, no, I'm standing here. So, Mr. Engine, which you can probably hear much louder now because I'm standing with me. Let's just close the, the lid. There we go. quick check on the meters, make sure everything's all right. Yeah, so uh, it's all good. It's a Lister ST2, two-cylinder. All that sort of information, FAQs, it's all in the, the About section on my YouTube channel when you've got time later on to check it out. As well as links to my website and all that sort of stuff. All that sort of nonsense. A really interesting scenery here. So is this on the right here? What, what are we seeing here? Look at that. It's flooded the fields there. Oh, that's interesting, Cyril. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can't stop for pubs. Well, it's all iced up as well. Can't stop for the pubs because, uh, you know, producer Stu would tell me off. No, he wouldn't. Not at all. Not only do I get lots of creative freedom doing the stuff that I do, I, I um, yeah, I get the freedom to just do what I, what I like. I'm just, you've got to be strict with yourself when you live such a, a life like this with lots of freedom. You've got to be strict with yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. But wow. I'm going to turn the camera again because what what I'm seeing as we go past. Just incredible. 
So it's flooded over into that bit, I think, or is that an island? Is this Devil's Elbow? The saw was straightened here to cut out sharp bends, apparently. Wow. Okay. And it's all frozen, the other side of this, this bank here. old river route, according to local uh, YouTuber Saw Tackle, <laughs> um, is on our right. Okay. else like me um, go through these canal guides uh, if you're a boater you get a little bit fed up it's all about churches <laughs> I do like a good church like the one that's coming up on our left apparently can't see it at the moment but yeah the guides on the canal guides always go on about churches well the ones that I've got anyway the Collins Nicholson's ones which are excellent my favorites but yeah <laughs> The Pe there's Pearson's guides out there, which are much the, co the covers are fantastic, old style sort of narrowboat painting sides. But I find it a bit too flowery for me, the, the word words inside. But at least they do show you where the local takeaways are at McDonald's. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> yes, I will, Kate. I will be going to Foxton Locks at some point. Not sure when. Right now, I'm on this part of the River Saw, headed towards Loughborough. And I'm loving this. It's the, the winter sun, which isn't shining in my eyes today. It's just perfectly shrouded by the cloud. It's beautiful. Because there's no wind about. It is cold, but you don't get that wind chill as well, so it's, it's fine. Plus I've got my long johns on, so it's fine. It's all good. Thanks for the advice on the moorings, by the way. Just missed that. I'll just have, I'll just have to turn up and see what see what's there, and you know, just go with the flow. People do give me a lot of advice for where I'm going, which is today is Zoch, a place called Zoch or Zoch. Zo <laughs> That's how it looks like to me, a uh, But apparently it's called Zoch. Uh, so um, it's just a little village, I think, with a pub. Which I'm, which I'm going to try and stay out of. Be a good boy. And um, people give me advice on where to go and what to do. 
and it's actually nice. Sometimes it's good not knowing at all, so you can just discover for yourself. So Devil's Elbow. It's apparently on my right, is it? Well, we'll see about that. Well, it'll probably take us a while to get there, won't it? <laughs> Coming up on our right. Or are we on it right now? Okay, so there's an island on our right here. That, that piece of land. I'll show you. So this is an island. And there's water that goes on the other side of that. And from the air, I imagine it does look like an elbow. There's not much I can see from down here. dead wood there. You can almost pull up on alongside and get some firewood. I'm obsessed with firewood, aren't I? Just rain that in. <laughs> well, you know, it's expensive just getting coal all the time. But then you can't, the reason why I have, I have to burn coal, which you'll notice I haven't got any bags left on the roof, I'm down to the last bag. The reason why I don't just burn, the reason why I have to burn coal is it just yeah, it lasts longer, doesn't it? Otherwise, you'd, just be, you'd have to be there feeding fire all day long with, with wood, which sounds quite fun. But last night I had the uh, coal fire going all night, and I even had ice on the, on the inside of the windows. So even with the fire going. <laughs> So I'm just going to lift you up so you can see what we've just gone past. Devil's Elbow. saying it's, it's Zooch. <laughs> I don't know. I was just going by what someone said. Uh, yeah, right now. I don't know where we are. I'd say we've got a couple, couple more miles to do on this river. Hopefully that's just a half an hour journey. What do you think? Just to appease everyone, I'm going to um, call it Zooch from now on, which is more oh, and it's Zooch as well. All right, I don't know. <laughs> so I guess it's up to me. It's up to me to call it whatever I like. I'm going to call it Zauch. <laughs> I'm going to call it Zauch.
<laughs> yeah. Ouch. It's great, isn't it, how there are some names of places you visit, such as... Well, the, well the, my favourite example is Slawit, which is pronounced Slawit, but uh, by the locals, anyway. But uh, spelt Slaithwaite. Barnoldswick's another one. Barnoldswick, that's how it's spelt, but some of the locals will call it Barlick. I love it. I love that. Yeah, get down the pub. What are you watching this? Get down the bloody pub. Support your local pub. Perfect day for it. You can still watch this in the pub. <laughs> Just take your phone with you or something. Plug it in the wall. Tell everyone to shut up. And uh, yeah, let's crank it. And I'll pretend I'm there with you. Having a flagon of mead. Look at that, I've got uh, my pewter mug held aloft in my uh, murdering glove hand. <laughs> um, yeah. Call it RJC, that's my initials. That was given to me by my grandmother, Grandma G. She's a wonderful lady. Uh, the pub's shut. Oh no. Well, that is just bad news all round. Oh well. That's very kind, Dominic. Thank you for the offer. Oh, it's got new owners, is it, Rachel? Okay. Right. Right then. No, it's, this isn't a tidal river, this, for, for any part of it. It does link to the Trent, but that's not tidal, um, this side of Newark on Trent. Or I should say Cromwell Lock, which is near Newark on, Newark on Trent. But yeah, we're, we're a long way away from the tidal river now, thankfully. <laughs> I've still got my life jacket on though because it's been icy and muddy today and I'm up filming as well so it's yeah just trying to be extra safe. So before I started making this live stream my mum was so worried she says I'm not even going to watch the live stream. You worry me too much. <laughs> it's like oh sorry mum. Sorry. But I had to, I had to say to her look I'm, this is what I do for a living. I'm an expert at this mucking around on my boat with a camera, that's what I do every single day. Give or take, you know, when I'm not being marooned due to flood water. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm moving around on the boat all, all the time. I know this boat so well, even when it is slippery. But I'm still wearing the life jacket today just to make sure. And uh, yeah, the rubber ring, armbands, they're all underneath my coat. We just uh, got a problem with signal at the moment. That's why it dropped out. I didn't fall off. But yeah, I should definitely get danger money for this. Come on. Luckily, I have a paypal.me forward slash crank it link. It's in the description if you want to click on that and give me a tip. <laughs> if you want to pay me some danger money, put in the description of the, the tip, put danger money. <laughs> but I hope you can hear me all right and that the um, picture is okay. 
We're just going past this cutting here, and I wonder if it's reducing the signal a bit. It might be. Oh, that's great. Thanks for the comment, um, Nigel, because when I don't see those comments coming through, it generally means that the, the feed has gone down <laughs> and, I, and I'm just filming and wittering on to myself, just like normal, really. <laughs> Alan, what are you saying there? Leeds P, Brentford nil. What does that mean? Like, do you know what? Yeovil Town, they didn't play yesterday. Um, all the games in the National League, Banarama, all the non-league teams, they didn't play. So all, all of them were pos postponed. Just shows you. Focus has got a bit wobbly. Okay, that probably means that the signal's not great. It, may, it does mean that the starts getting a bit pixelated or whatever. I did see my mum's comment. Thank you so much. Yes, I think. I saw one of them anyway. Which one are you referring to? Let's just go back. Yes, I did see a comment. Yes, of course I did. Right, so Scott's saying he's on the... on his boat, on the Springer that will pass in a bit. Yeah, this new phone, Kevin, is pretty good, isn't it? Although we're still going through YouTube's, um, I don't know, the way they're processing it, so that you can see it, it's still going to be 720p. That means it's just not as great quality as the normal 1080 that I do. And for broadcast as well, it's 1080p. Hello Alfie, welcome to the stream. A live stream. This is I mean, this is the world's most popular canal and river based live stream. Come on, surely it is. We've got five hundred and seventeen people watching right now who think it is anyway. And there's four hundred and thirty three people who have smashed the like button so far. At this moment in time. <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely to have so many people for company. But you wouldn't all be able to fit on the boat at the same time. <laughs> Obviously. Hello, oh yeah. Um, yeah, at least there's no ice today. There's a very short lock landing coming up. With a rowing club in front of me on the left. Right, okay, so I'm going to concentrate now and look away from your comments, I'm afraid. And. Um, slow down a bit. Yeah, so the, the, all your description of this video will have de more details if you want to join the Crank Kit crew and all that sort of stuff. And links to my website, etc. Oh, right. Okay, so we're past the cutting on our right. And we've got to stick to the left. Yeah, this is it. We're, just, we're getting to our destination. We're going to see how much ice is on this next cut. Could be a lot, I don't know, yeah. But yeah, we're just about to come into a place that is commonly known as Zauch. That's what I'm calling it, anyway. Some people call it Zoch, some people call it Zoosh. Zoosh. <laughs> I'm going to call it Zauch. Hello, Swans. You're going to see us in escort, Swan escort, into the lock, which is just around the next corner, with a really short uh, lock landing, according to Rachel, who's watching, who's local. Keep in the middle, don't cut the corner, there's rocks. Okay, thank you for the advice. Nice one, Al. Yeah, Al's just given us the link for Patreon. And that is how you join the Crank It crew. 
alongside Al and uh, Greg and Tony and loads of other people that I've got to give a shout out to. And if you're in the Crank It crew and you're watching this now, you're, you've got permission to say in the chat, hi guys. Right, here we go. Ugh. Just going to move you forward a little bit. Hopefully I've avoided the rocks. Slow right down. Oh, it's only, <laughs> he is watching still, nice one. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I think we started saying, oh, here we go. Started getting through some ice again. Can you hear that? It's very thin ice, so that's good. You're on thin ice, Robbie. Lots of people here to greet us, I think. <laughs> Yay, hey, Elisa. <laughs> right, I'm just going to have to hop off the boat in a sec, so I'm not going to watch some of the jacks now. Just, I've got to, got to warn you, I'm just doing a live YouTube video, okay, just to warn you, okay. <laughs> Always glad to see a lock ahead of me because when it's in winter it's so cold like this. It's um, yeah, you need something to get your blood pumping again. Standing at the back of the boat just doing nothing. Apart from gabbing on to you. <laughs> that just doesn't yeah, it doesn't warm you up, so yeah. Good advice. Stop every now and then. Warm up, and this is perfect. We've got a lock here, fantastic. This is why I love locks so bad. Right, there's lots of mud on this towpath, so muddy, but it's not icy. Oof. But it definitely is above above the uh, lock there's a fair bit of ice oh dear well I think this is where I'll be mooring up and then um, yeah I'll moor up here some great moorings here so we'll stick the boat up here and uh, wait for wait for the temperature to change it's not going to be as cold tonight I've heard so yeah, hopefully that means the ice will not persist. I need to get to Loughborough at least by 8am Tuesday morning. That's my deadline. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. After this, after I've sorted this lock out, I'll moor up and then we'll end the live stream.
So probably about another half an hour <laughs> at the rate at which I go through locks. Lock number 55, if you're interested. Zauch lock. <laughs> Zooch lock, or Zoosh lock, or Zuch lock. That sounds quite good, actually, Zuch lock. Right, so first, I've got to empty the water from this lock. It's been left wide open at the top, with the paddles open. I, I, I don't know why, maybe so there's a flow of water coming through, I don't know. So I've got to shut the paddles at the top. There we go, that's shut. And then we can let some water out get the boat in. Oh. oh, I'm cold. I am really cold now. great sound of the ice cracking as the water level goes down all the edges of the sheet of ice that I'm looking at here <laughs> oh it's all pinging away I love it I'd like to show you but you're looking after my boat so thanks I appreciate that Gloves are off. Almost there. The water's almost equalised. Water and ice, I should say. <laughs> so yeah, we've got some more ice breaking to do.
but it is very thin. It's thin ice. Here we go. Oh no, hang on, I've done this wrong. I need to go over the other side first. Save me walking too much. Just got to be really careful because when you're walking across rock gates that don't have any pressure either side, they can be a bit more wobbly. So got to watch out. So that's another don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> No, you can, you can, that's a, there's lots of risks that I'm taking traveling around in winter, but this is one of the fewer, the lesser ones. And there isn't a bridge going over this lock, so the only way to cross over the lock is on the lock gates themselves. Excuse me, can I ask a question? How, how do you say this local place? Sorry to interrupt you. We, oh, we think it's Zooch. You think it's Zooch? Zooch Are you from round here? Or? Um, I am uh, from nearby. Wait, sorry, what, what's the question? I'm just, uh, some people are saying to me it's, it's Zoch. Sometimes oh, it's right, Zooch. The pronunciation. Yeah. We've been saying Zooch. I'm just going to go with Zauch. Oh, <laughs> add a new one in there. Why not? Um, Dorset originally, yeah, oh, so, right. but I've lived up north a bit in Yorkshire and that, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh nice, yeah, well this is definitely an interesting part of the country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got a lot of ice coming up, so, um, yeah, I'll just take my boat in here and then try oh, and stick right. it over there somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, do you recommend it, you think it's good? Well, it looks nice, yeah. I don't know if I recommend it. <laughs> it's on the, the canal. It's there, it's the only one yeah. there, I suppose. They've got Monopoly. Yeah, there's a, a pub, it exists. <laughs> you need a companion so they can run ahead and get the pints in while you're. That'll be good, yeah. Oh, that'll be good, yeah. I'm um, filming a live YouTube thing right now, but yeah, lots of people are watching, they're saying, yeah, just get, get down the pub. <laughs> so we did like a meditative live stream. Yes, that's right, it's just meditation. <laughs> Yeah, it is a bit slow TV. It's taken us about two hours to get here. So anyway, thanks so much for stopping. <laughs> Cheers. Right, they've seen a kingfisher. Let's see if we can turn the camera. And try and get you a shot of the kingfisher. Probably fly off now, as it always does. over there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's in the branch. Just here, that's the kingfisher there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I knew it. It's blown off straight away. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh well, we got it. We saw it. Got the walkers excited. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, everyone should get to see a kingfisher. And they're so brightly coloured. You almost can't miss them, but you always end up missing them anyway because they're so fast. I never get to film them. So they've just gone before I've turned the camera in their direction. Right, let's go and break up some ice in the middle of a canal lock. Another world first, guys. Come on. Smash that like button. <laughs> a lot of walkers now, we're seeing. A lot of people out for their Sunday strolls. We can chat to them. There we go. Yeah. You're right, how yeah. <laughs> so, are you? You call it Zotch, okay. <laughs> oh, so they call it Zeus. Ashby to the Zeus. Got you, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. You, you didn't see that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we've got a live audience. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's ice breaking. Oh, this is a lovely old lock. Well, it is on the right hand side. You can see the difference in brickwork, stonework. Right. Let's try and get up here. A little bit annoying this because I want the bollard to be here really. Um, oh well. Just have to tie it off from there. I don't normally like being so far back in the lock, I want to be down there. Yeah, there we go. Nothing we can do about that. Closing the gates behind me. There's no grand grand pedal this time. We go fit. Oh, hang on, let me just check something. Being very careful on this right there. No, it's just a, a boulder. Not boulder. <laughs> Bollard, wooden. So I've got to use these gate paddles, which can kick out a quite a lot of water.
think there's every lock you do on a new navigation. This is my third, third proper lock on this river saw navigation. With every lock you do get a bit more confidence in how they operate and where the water goes, best place to type the boat, all that sort of stuff. Quite funny, um, you can just see me here, but the other side of you is loads of people just standing watching. <laughs> audience, live studio audience. See many boats come in recently, come and go. No, <laughs> I know. I don't think anyone's been there, have they, for a while? No, All right. So this, I'll have to wait here anyway. Before, yeah. Well, there's worse places to be. <laughs>
It's going to be interesting on this next bit. It's all iced up. It's going to make a nice noise. <laughs> Oh, you're going to help me with the gate? That's brilliant, thank you. Oh, that, that's even better, thanks. <laughs> that's very kind of them. I'm just going to moor up as soon as I can, I think, just after the rock. There's a lot of ice ahead. Synchronised lock opening. The helm. Here we go, we're going to moor up now and end the live stream. Cranky crew out in force. <laughs> nice, always, always representing. Right, here we go. It's going to make a strange noise now, hopefully. Hopefully, the ice. Pretty cool, isn't it? It is pretty cool. <laughs> Although it does scrape the paint off, so I don't like to do it too much. <laughs> I can really hear that ice breaking now, can't you? I'd say it's about a centimetre thick. If you don't mind metric. <laughs> Oh, a bit further forward. I have to get the engine because the ice is there. It's I can't pull through it even. I need to go back. I need to go forward a little bit. More. Oh. Come on. It's crazy. Un compared to just a normal day when there's no ice there at all, it is mad how much it takes to get through to even just a centimetre of ice. It's going to need a little bit more than that. That 
now, dude. That'll do. So I've got to not use my barge pole to break up this ice. I've got to refrain from doing that this time. <laughs> so I don't know if you, if you were here earlier on the live stream, but I do have a new one now. Courtesy of a very generous local. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi, Whew, that'll do. <laughs> Thank, thanks so much. Thank you. That's kind of them. Right. Turn the engine off. Some peace and quiet. I'm going to tie up and then I'll say my goodbyes because that is it. I need to, need to crack on with other stuff. I need to get my truck back for one. <laughs> Oof, you can really hear the ice cream crunching away at the side. I'm hoping it doesn't reform tonight, but it won't be as cold as last night, I'm, I'm told. But I've got other worries, and that is the river level, of course. Right then. Treat myself to a cup of milk, or a bit of Horlicks, or some Ovaltine, whatever malty, uh, malt-based hot drink. Bovril, no. Oh. Some people like it. Anyway, um, thank you so much, everyone. All these people. Pookie Cat, Leanne, Lindy. Thanks so much for joining me. Tony, Jared, Greg, carry a bag. Alan. I could keep shouting out your names all day long, couldn't I? But yeah, thank you all so much. And um, I'll see you on the next live stream. Tomorrow? Should you do the one tomorrow? Yeah, let's do another one tomorrow. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.